in, come on in, come on in. What's up? What's good? What's poppin'? What's crackin'? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It is your man, Theo Butler, and welcome to another episode of I Ain't Saying, I'm Just Saying. Yeah, man, y'all clap that thing for Yeah, yeah. And shout out to the Rock with the Nation. Y'all already know how we get down one nation under a groove. And hopefully, hopefully, it's with this mindset, one nation under a groove. Today's topic will be received for what it is. Y'all already know how we get down. Before we begin, like, share, subscribe. Listen, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I really, really do. Man, thank y'all so much for blessing me. 2021 was better than 2020. Numbers are growing and everything like that. So we're going to keep growing. We're going to keep doing the content. And segue is with growing the content that we're doing today's episode. Y'all already see. Y'all already see it. The WNBA. I know I got to be careful with this one. <laughs> yeah, hey, listen, listen, listen. This is along the lines of something we would discuss on the show uh, that I'm going to be doing unapologetically heterosexual. And so it's along this line. I'm unapologetically heterosexual. So the WNBA, shout out to um, Abba and Preach. Today's episode is actually inspired by them. I do draw ideas from my content by watching a lot of other content creators. And they were talking about lowering the rim in the WNBA. Now, um, I know, I know to my, to the, you know what? No, I'm not going to make that. I'm not going to make that assumption because we do that too many times when it comes to men and women. We make generalized false assumptions about one another. And I, I want to get rid of that. I don't, I'm a, I want to do my best to refrain from that. So what I will say is I understand if there are some that have an issue with what I'm about to say. But I do ask that you just hear me out. Now, when we talk about sports in general, let's, let's, let's go ahead and get the commonalities out of the way. Some stuff that we don't want to admit that that's just out there. It is. It is what it is. I, I ain't saying that. I'm, I'm just saying. So, um, as a heterosexual male, I'm more inclined to watch female tennis than male tennis. For different reasons. Let y'all figure out what that is. <laughs> and I will say that my interest in female tennis picked up right along the same time Serena came along. <laughs> and I know some people are probably, Theo, what? That's wrong. No, no. Because if we being honest, some some people are getting pleasure out of that. Say it again. I thought I'd turn that daggone thing off. Some people are getting pleasure out of watching male tennis players. It ain't got nothing to do with them playing tennis. We keeping it a buck, right? We just, we go we go keep it a hundred. Okay, so watch this. Don't act like some of y'all not excited to watch the baseball players. And I mean the ones whose pants is tight. <laughs> <laughs> I know y'all mad as hell. Some of y'all mad as hell when they start wearing them baggy baseball pants. <laughs> Any lies that I tell? Come on now. I know, I know, I know it's some of us, some of us, some of y'all, because it ain't me. I know some of y'all, y'all, y'all like the way, you know, the NBA players look in their uniform. And some of y'all, you know, you 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 kind of prefer them. To have on the short shorts as opposed to the to the full knee shorts. And I'm not mad at you, but just know I know. <laughs> <laughs> football. Oh man, I don't even want to talk about football. Because there's really only one other sport worse than football. But we know some of y'all. Watching football games for whole different reasons than, than why I'm watching. <laughs> it's got something to do with them damn pants. And for whatever reason, the pants keep getting short. I remember when I was going to school, they was playing football. They used to stop right below the knee. Then they got on the knee. Now they're above the knee. Now if you look at cats like Joe Burrow, they 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 
<laughs> they wear biker shorts on the football field with pads in them. <laughs> and some of y'all are fine with that. Like some of y'all are, that's y'all thing. I'd be like, ooh, God, that's going to hurt. Like, I don't want to hear nothing. Your knee get effed up. I don't want to hear nothing. Because I don't know. Your, th your, your knee pad is on your thigh. I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> Yeah, and and yeah, the sleeves. You see how the sleeves keep going up? I know some of y'all like that. So let's 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 not do that. And the only other sport worse than that, sports entertainment, is wrestling. I know it's quite a few of y'all. Love to watch y'all some wrestling. Ain't got nothing to do with why I watch wrestling. What are you saying? I just want to go ahead and get rid of that whole he's a sexist narrative. <laughs> I just, I just want to go ahead and dispel that. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Cause yeah. So when I say we got things in common, what am at the six minute mark? That's way too long. Why y'all think we watch basketball? Cause watch this. You know, it ain't just the regular kick that make the highlights in soccer for men. It's that bicycle kick. That, 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 that bicycle kick, that's guaranteed to get on Sports Center. The regular kick. Unless it's a goal being scored, man, we ain't looking at that. But now, that bicycle kick, that's on them. <laughs> you know why? It's a highlight. And what are sports shows? Not the game in and of itself, but the sports show that actually promotes the sports game. It's a highlight show. It's a highlight show. In any other sport... We not tripping. Softball. We don't have women's professional baseball. Not to say that women can't play baseball because they can. I can't. See, it's not, that's not my thing. I can't even play fast pitch softball. Y'all, we no hell. No, I'm not doing that. But even when you look at slow pitch softball, the infield is not as deep. I'm sorry, the outfield is not as deep as it is for the men. Why is that okay? Because we're not doing what the men doing. And we fine with that. Now, can I, do I believe they should have a women professional baseball league? Didn't we have one before? Didn't they do pretty good? Uh, can, can women not hit home runs? Bring in the field in? Yeah. Are we not going to watch it? Hell yeah. Can you imagine a female 40 home runs in a season? Pop! tuning in to see that. She's stepping up to the plate. We like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We want to see this. Can you imagine a female hitting something with a Kent to Kobe side on? Yes. <laughs> Y'all look. Kent to Kobe. Side on picture for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Yes. I did just date myself. And that's probably how I threw up my damn arm because I used to love the hell out of it. Man. What? Yes. What we going to do? Need to make some adjustments. So Holds the lower in the rim. I'm a proponent of lowering the rim. Know why? I like the flashy passes from the NBA. I, I it's to be appreciated, you know, especially, but the flashy pass gotta lead to something. <laughs> it ain't I don't need just a flashy pass and it don't lead to nothing. And the fundamental pass gotta lead to something. Gotta lead to something. And most times, you know what the fundamental pass leads to? That gets on the highlight show. The fundamental pass that leads to a three-point shot. Whew, just net. The fundamental pass that leads to a crazy ass layup. Like not a fundamental layup. It can't be two. You can't do two fundamentals together. <laughs> like, you can't have fundamental plus fundamental. There's gotta be. Sick ass in there somewhere. <laughs> or the fundamental pass leads to a sick ass dunk. We got a dunk competition. NBA All-Star Weekend. We got a three-point contest. We got a dribble contest. We got an All-Star Game. 
We got a rookie game. All them things that women can participate in, that's making highlights. That other thing, they not doing that. Why not? The rim is 10 feet tall. 10 feet tall. This me. I'm not saying, because I can't dunk. <laughs> I've dunked once in my lifetime. <laughs> but you're not going to pay me no crazy money to watch a whole bunch of me's walk around, play basketball, and not give you that. Something going to be lacking. And I'm saying that as an unapologetic heterosexual male. Something is going to be missing. You know what we're going to have to do to make that game exciting? For cats my height, for y'all to tune in, highlight, make sports center and everything like that? Man, if y'all don't love that damn real. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, in every other scenario, the dude that, the hockey player that goes behind the net Picks up the puck on the stick and then throws it in the net. A female do the same thing. I can't do that. That's a highlight. And on any level, the male's playing hockey. The female's doing the same damn thing. Butterfly saves and all that. The female's doing the exact same thing. Now, what's missing is our coverage of those sports. But our coverage is not lacking when it comes to the WNBA. It's not. It's not. So what's missing? If it's going to take you a time to adjust to the goal being lowered, that's fair. Adjust to it. We just experienced football players having to adjust to not lowering their heads. We have a targeting rule in place. I don't think you'll be penalized like football players are for missing a shot on a newly lowered rim. Baseball. You had baseball players just having to get used to throwing a brand new baseball because they said the other baseball wasn't generating enough runs. There you have it. Everybody has to get used to something. But pride versus ego. Pride before the fall. This is me as a heterosexual male saying to you, I can't do what y'all can do. But I know what I can appreciate across every sport. And we're not going to act like even women don't appreciate in male sports, specifically basketball, a sick ass dunk. Make sure y'all tune in for me. This was just basically like a little rough pilot episode. If you like, Comment if you don't like, leave a constructive comment and everything like that. Share the video. This is with love because honestly, I'm like this. We making sports center like that. This sports center spots. What what man? Good God Almighty, man! Somebody come like ah, oh. <laughs> come on, man! I ain't saying. I'm just saying. Peace.